Britain's first satellite television channel got off the ground today. Just over an hour, <coughs> I beg your pardon, just over an hour ago, viewers in Swindon tuned in to the opening programme. For less than £10 a month, subscribers to Radio Rental's cable TV network will now have an additional channel beamed into their homes by satellite. The service is provided by Sky TV, a company based in London, who eventually hope to sell a mixture of rerun films, American serials and documentaries to other cable stations in Britain. This from Alistair Stewart. Bringing satellite television to Britain in the form of the Sky Channel represents an investment of £9 million. Governments, cable operators and, crucially, advertisers had to be convinced it was a positive addition to the current mix of broadcasting in Britain. This company, Satellite TV Limited, are the first to have won the argument. They buy in programmes, sell advertising space and pump the combination out from their London headquarters to the cable TV operators who buy it. It's cheaper for them and the viewers than direct broadcast Satellite TV, for which subscribers will have to buy new and expensive equipment, including a rooftop receiving dish. With this method, existing cable subscribers simply punch the button to select and receive their new channel. So how does it work? The programmes are sent along landlines to the telecom tower, which then beams them to the satellite ground station in Hertfordshire. From there, the signals are pumped up to the satellite 22,000 miles overhead. The satellite then beams the signals to receiver points across Europe including, from today, the Swindon Cable Station. The programmes can then be fed out to the 10,000 homes which are linked to the cable system. While it's all new to Swindon, Satellite TV have been serving Europe since April 1982. Half a million viewers in West Germany, Switzerland, Norway and Finland are soon to be joined by viewers in France, Austria and Sweden. Here, the cable networks in Milton Keynes, Greenwich and Northampton are close to doing deals to receive the Sky Channel. At base, a library of programmes has been built up to fill a schedule of five hours a night, rising to eight hours in April. Some advertisers like the look of it, with big names like Ford, British Airways and Unilever lined up to book advertising time on the new channel. But the bulk of the shows are American series like Fantasy Island, Starsky and Hutch and Charlie's Angels. I asked Patrick Cox, the managing director, if B-movies were likely to be good enough. Well, I think that B-movies is a fairly strong term. I think we're offering some A-series, uh, drama series, apart from the actual quality of the programmes that are being offered. The launching ceremony two hours ago was conducted by pop star Kate Bush. And hello, uh, Saturday Night Television and all our new viewers in Swindon. It's my great pleasure to be here today to open the new Sky Channel and let's hope we have lots of good music. Thank you very much, Kate. And will you now pull the ribbon? My pleasure. <laughs> But as with any programme on television, it's the viewers who pass the most important judgement. Did they like what they were being offered? We asked the Hatherall family in Swindon for their first impressions of Sky Channel. Um, if it's going to be as varied as, as its forecast, as they're saying it's going to be, it, it could be very, very interesting. You know? um, I understand there's more sport to come on, uh, which in my own interest which would be something I would watch, you know. And, um, but as for the rest, I don't know if it's big films or what's coming on, but uh, certainly very impressive start. Yes. Good evening and welcome to the London office of Satellite Television. As you can see, we're having a party here tonight because tonight is a very special occasion for us all. We're celebrating the launch of Satellite Television's Sky Channel. From now on, we'll be transmitting five hours of family entertainment into cable homes in Norway, Finland, Switzerland, Germany, and from this evening into the United Kingdom. We'd like to say a very warm welcome to those of you who are watching on Thorny MI's cable network in Swindon. We hope that you're going to enjoy the Sky Channel. If successful, the new service can be expanded via cable to another 13,000 homes in Swindon. Sky's chief backer, Rupert Murdoch, is hoping that by the end of the year, two million homes in Europe will be plugged in. About half a million cable homes across Europe are currently receiving the service. Swindon won't be alone in Britain for long because Northampton should follow next month and then Greenwich and Milton Keynes. The aim of the channel is to entertain. Well, he's been finding out how the people of Swindon reacted.
The weather was awful in Swindon today, the kind of foul, intemperate wind and rain that could drive a fellow to watching TV, and therefore, absolutely perfect night for the opening of a new channel. Sky Channel is family entertainment. And what the people of Swindon saw, or at least those who were cabled up, was a 10-minute promotion film extolling the virtues of Sky Channel. It is expected that about something in the region of 10 million will be uh, cabled in this decade. So we're talking about between 4.5 and, and 5 million subscribers actually on cable systems by the end of the decade. Astonishingly, this new TV network is put out by a company who employ no more than 30, yes, 30 people. Tonight, Jeff Mead reports from Swindon. In the basement of a shop in Swindon, an engineer will throw a switch to bring Britain into the age of satellite TV. From satellite television in London, this is Sky Channel. Swindon beat other towns because the groundwork was already in. They've had a cable network since 1928. Originally laid to carry radio, it had to be considerably updated for the space age. And back here on Earth, this is what makes it all happen. A 20-foot wide satellite dish or ground receiving station, which is even now picking up signals from European communication satellite number one, 22,000 miles up in space above us. Don't be misled by the garden shed. Radio rentals are spending £14 million on sophisticated equipment and studios to make Swindon the most advanced cable town in Europe. But for such a huge investment, the initial five hours a night of programmes a somewhat old hat, what the trade calls demonstrated audience appeal. In other words, repeats of American hits like Charlie's Angels, Starsky and Hutch, and kicking off with Fantasy Island. We join Gary Davis for cable. Television in London, this is Sky Channel.